Lesson 1.4, Count and Write 3 and 4. In this lesson, we count and write 3 and 4 with words and numbers. Here we have the number 3. Here we have the word 3. The word 3 is T-H-R-E-E. -E. We have 1, 2, 3 counters. Here we have the number 4. Here we have the word 4, F O U. R, four. We have one, two, three, four red counters. Here we have the number one. Here we have the word one. We have one apple. Here we have the number two. Here we have the word two. We have one, two apples. Here we have the number three. Here we have the word three. We have one, two, three apples. And here we have the number four. And here we have the word four. We have one, two, three, four apples. Do you notice as we get more apples, the row of apples gets longer. We can count the bumblebees and trace the number with our finger. There's one, two, three bumblebees. For the right-handed students, we start here and we come around to the middle dotted line and then we come around again and come up a little bit. That's three. For the left-handed students, we start here, we come around to the middle dotted line and then we come around again and come up a little bit. Three. Here we have one, two, three, four bumblebees. We can write the number four. Here's the word four. We start here, we come down, and then we come across. Then we start here and come straight down. We can do it with our left hand. We start here, we come down, we go across, then we come back up here and we come straight down. Four. For the right-handed students who hold their pen or pencil like this, we're going to start here, we're going to come around to the middle line and then come around again and curl up a little bit for the three. We start here and, let me get my pen right, we start here, we come around to the middle dotted line and then we come around again to the bottom line and come up a little bit. Three. For the number four, we can start here. We come down to the middle line and go across. Then we come back up to the top and go straight down. Four. For the right-handed students, we can write the word three. We start right here and we come down, and then we come over here, and we come across. That's the T. Then for the H, we start up here. We come down and bounce around to the bottom line. For the R, we start here. We come down, and we bounce around. For the E, we start here, and we come around and up like that with a little curl. We need another E. Three. We can make the word four. We make the F. We start here and we come down and then we cross it going this way. For the O, we start here and we come around and back up. For the U, we start here we come down to the middle line and bounce and come back. And for the R, we come down and we bounce around back like that. Four. For the left-handed students, the ones who write like me, we make the three the same way. We start here and we come around to the middle and around again and curl up a little bit. We start here at the dot we come around and around. 
For the four, we can start here. We come down to the middle and go across. And then we come here and go straight down. Four. For the left-handed students, we can write the word three. We start here and we come down. Notice that we're not at the top line. We're almost at the top line. We're right here. And we come down and then we go from this side towards our hand. We make the H, we come down and bounce around. We make the R, we start here at the middle dotted line, come down and bounce and come with a little curl. We can make the E, we start here, we go across and then around. We make the other E, go across and come around. For the word four, we make the F by starting here. Note it's a, it's a little bit below the line. I'm going to come around and down to the bottom line. Then we're going to go here towards our hand. For the O, we're going to come around this way, the same way that a clock goes around the clock hand. For the U, we're going to start here and we're going to go up and bounce and back down. And for the R, we're going to start here in the middle dotted line. We're going to come down and bounce back up and around like that. Four. Here we have the number one. We have one gem. Here's the word one, O-N-E. Here we have the number two. We have one, two gems. Here's the word two, T-W-O. Here's the number three. We have one, two, three gems. Here's the word three, T-H-R-E. E. Here we have the number four. We have one, two, three, four gems. We have the word for F-O-U-R. We need to count the cats and write the number. I see one, two, three, four cats. We need to write the number four. We start here. We come down to the middle line and go across. And then we come straight down. Four. Four cats. We need to count them and write the number. How many boats do we see? We can count them. One, two, three, four. There are four boats. We can write the number four. Four for four boats. Let's count the helicopters. I count one two, three, four helicopters. We need to write the number four. We start here, we come down to the middle, go across, and then come straight down like we're making a number one. Four helicopters. Each group of objects was organized in a different way. Here we had them stacked, one, two, three, four. Here they're kind of going on a slant. One, two, three, four. And here we have one, two, three coming straight down in a column. And then we've got one over here that makes four. It doesn't matter how they're arranged. We still counted four. In our next lesson, 1.5, we're going to model and count to five. I hope you have a really nice day, and I hope you'll join me. Bye.